very good morning, one and all. Uh, my name is Tiso Angami. I'm a faculty in Department of IT, School of Engineering and Technology in Nagaland University. Uh, Nagaland University is a central university, and we started our first BTEC program in November 2007. So I'm amongst the first batch of faculties. I was with uh, TCS two years, and then I joined Nagaland University. Uh, we have uh, two batches of students already admitted. So as and when the students come, so we conduct some orientation programs of one week so that they get to understand you know, the use of computers, networking basics, internet, and all those uh, you know, basics of uh, computer systems. Now as far as computing environment is concerned, we have an HB Blade server, which is a portal for NPTEL videos. So uh, that RVL stands for Recorded Video Lectures. So the lectures available in NPTEL website, uh, which is nptel.iit.m.ac.in, all the lectures are available with us in the HP Blade Server portal, so that we use this as a supplement to our teaching aspects. Uh, since we don't have professors in our university as of now, we make full use of NPTEL lectures. Then we have uh, IBM Tower servers. Uh, one is a domain controller, one is an antivirus server, and we have an application which is in you know, a file server and a wireless management server for the Wi-Fi network. And our academic complex and residential campus are both Wi-Fi enabled. So uh, the residential campus is some uh, one kilometer from the academic complex. So we have routers and you know, wireless bridge devices. And we have 2 Mbps lease line internet from Realtor Corporation of India, uh, which is implemented through the railway's optical fiber network. And we have VPN link with IIITM Kerala for real-time synchronous learning. So as and when we need any uh, education teaching support from IIITM Kerala, since we already have MOU with uh, IIITM Kerala, we make use of this facility. And uh, as far as learning management system is concerned, we have a course wiki, uh, which is implemented using the wiki software, and we have Moodle as well. We have three computer labs uh, with 126 computers. Uh, the common lab has 36 systems, which is common to all the branches. And specifically, we have 30 systems for computer science uh, students and 27 for IT students. Uh, we have a bioinformatics center lab coming up shortly. Since our vice chancellor, he is from biotechnology background, he is you know, very much interested in this bioinformatics center setup. Uh, we have a centralized uh, you know, power backup with 40 kVA UPS and 125 kVA generator. We have LCD projectors and plasma TVs as visual aids. Of course, we are teaching uh, in programming is known as fundamentals of computer programming. Uh, I'm not handling this paper, but I'll get through, through this. So uh, as per the university's curriculum, FCP is a four credit hours course, which comprises of three lectures a week, which is uh, you know, roughly around one hour duration, and one lab session a week, which is of three hours duration. And the students' strength uh, in the second batch, we have 78 students. So we divide it into two sections of around about 40 students each. We have practicals in two batches and faculties, you know, one faculty per section. As far as evaluation scheme is concerned, uh, we have two components. The subject component, which is a maximum of, you know, 100 marks. We have 30 percent weightage for sessional, which comprises of assignments, quizzes, presentations, you know, normally two to three assignments, objective quizzes, and presentations. And we make it a point that we emphasize on you know, the presentation aspects as well. Then 30% weightage, we give it for internal assessment, which comprises of two minor written tests, each of 15 marks. And 40% weightage is given to the main written examination, which is the term and examination of two and a half hour duration. And coming to the practical component, which is of 50 marks, uh, marks will be allotted based on program execution and viva voice, and also maintenance of records. 
and this is the syllabus of fundamentals of computer programming. We first start with understanding, you know, Windows and Unix environment, and then we straight away move to programming, and we stick to C as a language. And we cover all aspects, you know, arrays, pointers and strings, file handling, and uh, this is the syllabus as per our university's curriculum, the detailed project report. And this is a typical lab, you know, there is a faculty. So these are a list of practicals to be carried out in the labs. Oh, your rap is a short form for writer program, is it? Uh, yeah. That's so very interesting. It's, it's written over here, you know. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So you give the legend. So the abbreviations are over there. Rap is a writer yeah. program, and KBD is keyboard. Oh. Yes. It was done you by. You carry acronyms to a extreme limit. I can say that. Uh, so, in case of our syllabus, for example, which is a combination of C and C++, yeah, yeah. where we will probably use the C++ environment to illustrate simple concepts which are even syntactically similar in C and C++. Would there be any problem in people understanding it? Or would you like C programming to be kept strictly uh, puritanically separate without any C++? Because that is what you would be doing right now. Uh, since we are a university, uh, we are flexible to change the syllabus. And since we don't have any private colleges as such in Nagaland, uh, you we, should be we able have to, to if work. Your, yeah. If your council approves, you yeah. can adopt a different course. So it's also. entirely up to the academic council. So we are still, you know, learning lots of things. We are young faculties. We want feedback from everyone. And IIT Gauti has been a mentor for all of us, so we go to IIT Gauti, take feedbacks from them, and then we are running the show as so of they now. they also have a first course similar to this perhaps? Yeah, yeah, even IIT Gauti, they have. Yeah. Uh, this curriculum, the entire curriculum was designed by uh, a government agency. It was in 2005, nice. and we started in 2007. Okay. But you are still using 2005 syllabus? Yeah, yeah. People say that you should change yeah. syllabus every two years. Yeah, so uh, we are waiting for Economic Council meeting. I see. So which will be conducted this year. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome.